morning, 8th grade. Today we're going to be looking at the second part of this week's main idea, that is distinguishing plurals, possessives, and contractions. In other words, we want to be able to look at a sentence and we want to be able to find the nouns and then we want to be able to label the nouns and that's what we're going to be practicing today. Please put your name, your class, and the date at the top of the paper. Today is October 8th, Thursday. You will remember on Monday we talked about forming, the formation of nouns. We figured out how we could form plurals from three different kinds of compounds. Compounds written as one word, two separate words, or as a hyphenated word. We also remembered the rules concerning possessives, apostrophe S versus S apostrophe. Now today we want to be able to look at these and label them in a sentence, but before we do, we want to be remembering contractions. If there is an apostrophe which comes before a noun, we want to be sure that it doesn't stand for noun plus the word is or noun plus the word has. So we have to read the sentence carefully and look at its context to be sure that it's not going to be a possessive. Now words like cannot, can't, are relatively easy. When it's part of a verb, when it makes it a negative. However, sometimes it's a bit tricky when you have a word like singer. Is it the singer's voice or is it going to be the singers, the songwriter, as in the sentence down below? Let's take a look at the four examples to see how we can identify it properly within the context of the sentence. The singers wrote the song. We notice the word singers is a plural noun. There is no apostrophe. In the second example, it says the singer's song is enjoyable. I know that's a plural possessive because the apostrophe comes after the S. We heard the singer's song is the third example. Apostrophe S tells me it is a singular possessive noun. And now the one that we need to be careful for that sometimes can be tricky. The singer's the songwriter. If you can add the word has or is, it's going to be a contraction. Again, the tricky part is it looks possessive because it has an apostrophe S, yes, but the sentence really says the singer is the songwriter. So be careful when you see a word in the context of the sentence. Where are the nouns? What kind are they? This question is going to be asked of us as we look to write our test next week. And that's what we're going to be practicing today, distinguishing. We're going to find them and we're going to label them. Now you notice that I blacked out above where the directions are found on your paper on page 69. You can just cross them out because we're not going to follow that. What we're going to be looking to do is we want to be finding all of the nouns that are in the sentence and we want to be identifying what kind of noun that they actually are. As you're looking at this page, there's two words that probably stick out and those are the two words which are highlighted in green. These are contractions and I want to use that same rule. Let's uh, take a look at number one. Hemingway's won two prestigious awards. Can I say the one that belongs to Hemingway? No, that's that's not it. Hemingway, Hemingway has won two prestigious awards. Hemingway has won two prestigious awards. That's a contraction. 
number 10. Is it the one that belongs to Kansas City? No. Kansas City is one of the many cities Hemingway visited. Remember, this is sometimes tricky. Ask yourself, can I say noun is, example, singer is, or can I say Hemingway is, or Hemingway has? Can I say Kansas City is, or Kansas City has? Well, how do I know? Well, again, I have to take a look at the context of the sentence, and I can see that in sentence number two. Hemingway's birthplace. Whose birthplace? It's Hemingway's birthplace. Hemingway's family. Whose family? Okay. You wouldn't say who's one, W-O-N, or down here, who's one, O-N-E, the number one. That, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Takes a little practice, but we'll have more and, and you'll get used to being able, able to pick them out. Now, the rest of these words that I have highlighted, class, here on the first to 12 sentences are, are what we're going to probably have either highlighted, uh, italicized, or in bold print for us on a test. And it's going to say how many of these are common nouns, or how many of these are proper nouns, how many of these are possessive nouns, is there a contraction? Or it simply may give you a sentence that doesn't have any highlighting. And it's going to say, find the nouns that are. Okay, so we want to be able to do that. What you can do for these words that I have highlighted, and I'm going to go through them with you, you can simply write above them what kind they are. Is it a common noun? Is it a proper noun? Or is it a possessive noun? Awards common. Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize, those are proper nouns. Again, if you have a question about any of these, make yourself a note in the side column and then contact me through GoGuardian and I will get back to you and help you to uh, identify these. Number two, this is possessive. Birthplace common, Oak Park, Illinois proper. Many of you are saying, I think I understand this fairly well. That's awesome. Common, boy. Youth, common. Hemingway, proper. Summers, what kind of day? This is possessive. Common, proper. Michigan. Again, be careful. Words like northern, it describes what kind of Michigan. Four. Possessive. Whose family? Hemingway's family. Family, common. Cottage, common. Walloon Lake, proper. Again, make for yourself a note above these what kind they are, and then you'll be completed with this work. Hemingway, proper. Friends, common. This goes back to the beginning of our unit where we were talking about the difference between common nouns and proper nouns. Native Americans, proper. Region, common. Group, common. Friends, common. Are you noticing the prepositional phrases in the sentences? If you are noticing the prepositional phrases in the sentences, you are seeing that the last word of these prepositional phrases the last words are always going to be nouns. On Walloon Lake. Okay. Some of his friends' adventures. Possessive friends. Common adventures. In his books. Books. Common. Stories. Common. You could also say books is plural, stories is plural, but we're just looking. This is a common noun. That's a common noun. Hemingway's possessive. Career, common. Kansas City, 
proper. Hemingway, proper. One, common. Reporters, common. Cities, you wouldn't say city is newspaper. Possessive, newspaper, common. Kansas City Star, proper. We did this one before. This is a contraction. That's why it's in green. Kansas City's. Kansas City is. This is a contraction. That's not a noun. It's a contraction. One, common. Cities, common. Hemingway, proper. Again, prepositional phrase. 18, common. Man's, possessive. Thoughts, common. Overseas, common. Hemingway, proper. Milan, Italy, proper. First, again, object of the preposition. Flights, first flights. My takeaway for today is distinguishing plurals, possessives, and contractions. Distinguishing means being able to find them and tell what they are. Where are the nouns? What kind of nouns are they? Okay, I need to be able to tell if it is a possessive noun. I need to be able to tell if it's a common noun. I need to be able to tell if it's a proper noun. Also, I'm not a noun, I'm a contraction. And then classes, you look down these words like awards versus cottage. You would say, yes, I know this is a plural noun. This is a singular noun. This is a plural noun. This is a singular noun. Okay, you can go down. You understand that. Okay, that's what's called distinguishing. That's all we're going to do here on page number 69 on this Thursday. Now, I have posted for you a link. There's nothing else that you need to do here on lesson number 11. We're done with this for now. I want you to go to IXL and I want you to practice distinguishing the different kinds of nouns. I have uh, the link there for you to practice and that will finish out our lesson for today. Again, if you've made any comments in the sidebar and, and you need some additional help concerning identifying these different kinds of nouns, please contact me. Thanks for following along today and have a great day.